what we eat in a week, vegan and plant-based, as much as we can from our garden. And we're really lucky that all these beautiful vegetables and flowers and greeneries everywhere. I really do use everything from the kitchen. I replant any scraps, I replant all the seeds. I've got some tomatoes there. Actually just added a nice raspberry to this veggie garden. There's some sweet potato and cabbage, garlic chives, lemon balm, spinach. Most beautiful gingers that have come up. So most of the time we love fruits, right? But when we have cooked meals like this, it is so delicious. So yeah, I've got some beetroots and corn going. I'm gonna use this beetroot water to color the rice. My kids are obsessed with corn. Look at this lemongrass. This is gonna flavor our rice, which is just phenomenal if you haven't tried that really should. Yeah, the delicious beetroot. You can use that in everything, especially rice wraps are just our favorites. The rice is going straight into this beetroot water, taking all those nutrients and making our rice purple. And then I'm adding some lemongrass here, which is just the most delicious. So they are a little bit hard, and they tend to boil softer put the whole string in just like that but I'm like chopping them up and still still eating them look how beautiful this rice is so this is going into my favorite dish rice wraps if we're on a strict dieta then we probably wouldn't have hummus so much but everything else we still would and as often as we can we try and eat from the garden which just nourishes my soul so much i'm always grateful that we have the space to do this it's just so so good for your soul to be outside in nature and and using living foods and assisting our body to hold the frequency of living Mm. Beautiful mints. These guys are just flourishing. So it's a continuous effort to keep growing the garden. Oh, these rice wraps. They are heavenly. I could eat them every single day of the week. <laughs> and the hummus is just superb. Beautiful they are with purple rice and the mint and the apples. Tomatoes and spinach and delicious leaves. Watermelons, because they're such a big family, we just have fruit in abundance all the time. And watermelon is just a favorite, hydrating ourselves. And this is a favorite of mine and Chris's potato wedges. And that could just be a meal for us and some beetroot, potato wedges, and an avocado and coconut cream dip. And these delicious fruits, grapefruits are such a favorite for me. I try and make a, a slow practice of every time when we are eating. And if you have a chance to eat outside, beautiful. If we're looking for something really filling, if we're looking for something comforting, then perhaps I would do something like this where we're doing coconut cream potatoes um, and doing some vegan schnitzels. And this is also if we're not on a strict dieta and we're just eating plant-based. My son loves these potato peels. He demands potato peels often which is so great because we're never wasting anything everything in our garden and in our house and in our kitchen tends to get reused whether it's getting planted or given to our beautiful farm animals if we're clearing out the garden if there's scraps left of food or, or 
just sharing our meals with them. They're always so sweet. Another favorite in our house is always smoothies. Smoothies or nice cream bottles. And it's so great if you can find organic fresh veggies and fruits. And if you're buying them in large quantities, it not only works out cheaper, but you can freeze them for smoothies and for bowls. Oh, these wonderful onions. And this was grown from food scraps. Look at these, and then they pop over when they're ready like that. And there's babies, there's even a, a red onion coming up. And those will still take some time to grow. But these other guys did good. Corn. And our little friend over here. There's always friends in the garden, it's wonderful. So a lot of my time is spent cleaning out the garden and working in the garden and either harvesting food for all of our beautiful animals or making compost. And I try and get as much physical activity out of the garden working on these beautiful living foods that we are eating <coughs> and getting time in the sun which is just always rewarding and nourishes our souls again watermelons just a favorite <laughs> and the rest of this is going into juice my kids are pros So delicious if you're putting it through a juicer it's not pulpy it's just sweet delicious juice don't be afraid of sugar from your fruits your body knows what to do with this and it uses it for energy and nourishing our bodies Eating the watermelon while making the juice. <laughs> oh, the happiest moments. Today, we're going to show you that you can just plant your own, your own food, not chill your own. <laughs> Love it. Ready? Onions. <laughs> And today we're going to pluck onions to show you. <laughs> Look at her go. Yeah. Ha! Got a nut power one. Pineapple. Not that, it's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> Just all Brilliant. the beautiful food growing in our garden, all organic. It's just so good for the kids to see as well where all the food comes from. Another nighttime favorite again, turmeric potato wedges. <coughs> we like to keep it really simple. And these onions, obviously, I was so proud to use. Just wonderful. So the bottoms went back into the garden again to recreate more life, to grow more onions. And then the rest of it, we have been using in meals and half of it I froze and then just used the next time that I needed onions. Those are all just gonna grow back in the garden. deeply satisfying when you are growing your own food and eating your own food it's it tastes so good it feels so good and it brings such a deep awareness 
back to what we are putting inside our bodies and how much control we truly do have over our food. Here's another day of smoothies for us, probiotics. I just love looking after our gut health. It's nice and easy to get into the kits as well. Oh, smoothies, just the best. We can have them any time of day. Again, don't be scared of eating too many fruits. Our body truly knows what to do with it. <laughs> Always enough for lots of us. <laughs> And this is just such a good meal. These are the onions from the garden with some peppers and carrots and beans. And some more fruit platters. We try and eat the rainbow as often as we can. So proud of these tomatoes. Little pomodoros. And look at those giant spinach leaves so crunchy and tasty yo what you got there yo did you pull that out bud yo that's amazing that looked delicious are we gonna keep that to eat Full grown carrot for a full grown farmer. So satisfying. Here's our beautiful chickens helping us out with the compost. Aren't they the coolest? We really love these chickens and they've started laying eggs. Can I have some baby chickens? And lots of help with the compost. fruit platters for us. I'm just in love with mangoes. I love summer fruits. Who doesn't? Oh, and then we were just indulging on these giant mushrooms. Some vegan plant butter and some butternut spaghetti. Absolutely delicious. Found this wonderful sauce and it's vegan and it doesn't have too many too many crazy ingredients in it. And again, if we're not on dieta, then this would be, be a nice meal that we'd be eating. These mushrooms were to die for. So delicious. More fruits for all of us. We really do share all of the food with our beautiful animals. Meet Snowflake, the original mommy of the group. It's just wonderful how, how the whole ecosystem here takes, takes care of each other. Everything we clean out of the bunny area goes back into the garden. They get all of the delicious food back from the garden again. Making some more smoothies. And this year my fig tree has given so many more fruits. They've been delicious. A bird ate this one, but look how beautiful they are. And broccoli, I try and try and capture as much as I can of what we are eating and yeah. Just some snippets of what it is we'd be eating in a day or in a week and showing you how simple it really is to, to be offering your body nourishment and living foods constantly that allow your body and your mind and your heart to thrive. Look at these beauties. Breakfast in the garden. When time allows, this is one of my favorites. Thank 
thank you for watching our video.